After an action-packed week in Valencia's stunning City of Arts and Sciences, it was down to David Perrer and Marcel Granolas to battle it out for the Valencia Open 500 title in the first all-Spanish indoor final for over 10 years. World number 67 Granolas had only made it into the main draw by virtue of being a lucky loser. But he was keen to make the most of his opportunity in this match and was quick to show Ferrer it would be no walkover. Wonderful point. Great depth from the back of the court and took his chance well. The world number eight, though, has been in stunning form all week and soon began to apply the pressure to his compatriots. Carefully done. It wasn't easy, that put away. And the hard work soon paid off for the fourth seed as he broke to leave himself serving for the opening set. But Granolos did not let his head drop. He's made it. And I'm not sure whether Ferrer left that one. An error of misjudgment. And it hands Granoyer the break back. With the set now looking destined to be decided on a tie-break, every point proved crucial as Ferrer kept pressing for a way through. Well, Ferrer's backhand call good. Granoyer not so sure, but it doesn't matter. The set is done and dusted. The pressure eventually proving too much for the lucky loser. The fourth seed continued in a similar vein of form in the second set, coming up with some big shots when it mattered to test his opponent. Oh, it's such a shame that a rally as good as that had to finish with an error. Phenomenal athleticism from both players and some terrific shot making. And moments later, Ferrer's continued pressure paid dividends. And there is the break. Relentless pressure from the world number eight. Take on the Granollers yes, serve. Three of the last four occasions. Granollers was still not prepared to roll over though, and chased everything down as he attempted to find a way to get back into the match. Almost got there. What a response. Ferrer surely thought that the point was already won. He has had his wits about him on the net today. But try as he might, there was to be no way back for the lucky loser, as Ferrer sought a fairy tale victory in his hometown. He's done it. What a week for David Ferrer. The ninth title of his career, his second in 2010, his second ATP 500 this year. And of course, his second in Valencia, his hometown. And of course, the 7-5-6-3 victory moves him a step closer to London. And the 2010 Valencia Open 500 champion, David Ferrer. Bien mejor. 500 ranking points, Just amigo, the world number 8, Ferrero, and the Czech, 300, 300 euros.